guys welcome to the new video of my day time check currently 6 55 today's video is actually um, a full day of eating i will bring you guys and i'll be showing you guys um, my what i eat every day on a daily basis lah. and i just did my weigh in earlier after this i'm going to like prepare my food for my breakfast and my lunch now currently done with like meal prepping so those are what I'm going to eat for lunch and this are my breakfast so for breakfast I have a multi-grain bread with um, some peanut butter you, as you can't really see it's right here and I have two slices of bacon and I have a cup of milk so yeah I'm gonna have a quick one for this and then I will have to quickly change and like head out for office because it's currently like 8.15 and normally morning is like a rush hour for me uh, I have to like prep the food, cook, bathe, clean up after cooking, you know, stuff like that You know, just trying to tidy up after all the mess I have So yeah, have a quick one and talk to you guys afterward So I actually just reached the office The time is currently 9.15 Today I'm actually a bit behind time because normally I'll come in around 8.45, 9 to start doing all my work but today seems to be like kind of on a rush and everything Beside the breakfast that I have shown you earlier, I also got myself a cup of coffee so Coffee is like a necessity to me every morning if not I could not function as a normal human being This is going to sum up for my entire breakfast and the macros are just right here so actually earlier in the morning, I have forgotten to tell you what are my calories and my macros for the day. So my calories and my macros are attached right here as well. So these are my target calories and macro. And I hope this helps for those that are actually lean bulking for like general beginner kind of calorie intake. So as you can see, it's actually quite quite low so you might notice that my calories are actually quite low because right now i'm actually uh, restricting myself from having too much of a surplus because the gym is not yet open so i do not want to gain too much weight for the time being but for now 2000 is a good number for me to really see how much uh, weight i'm actually gaining for the past two weeks so actually enough talk i actually had to get back to like doing my stuff so i'll talk to you guys during lunch and i will show you what i've actually prepared at home for my lunch later. Mean me? See in a bit. See you. Uh, okay, what's up, people? So currently it's now 1:40, and I already microwave my lunch. And just going to show you guys what I have. This is my lunch I'm having. Uh, I had myself like some egg. Egg, I have chicken here. Some chicken. And I have two bacon. And for my veg wise, I cooked some broccoli. And some lettuce as well. And got myself around like 4 ounces of rice as well. So this is going to be my lunch for today. And the macros will be just right there. So these are my macros and calories. Usually for my lunch, I like to eat a bit heavier because for me, I don't really eat that heavy for dinner. For dinner, my calories and macros will be a bit lower. So for my lunch, normally I try to hit a much higher intake for protein and carbs as well. So I'm gonna eat this while catching up on YouTube. So time for the time lapse. I'm just done with the lunch here. You can see it's like quite empty. 
gonna clean this up and go go out for a walk. Oh man, it's like freaking drizzling like every single freaking day. Well, I decided to get indoor instead because it's like freaking raining. So I'm currently like at this emergency staircase. Normally after lunch, I will go out for like a stroll just to really digest my, let my stomach digest a little. Since right now it's like drizzling, I mean I have no choice. I'm just gonna have to stay indoor. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty heavy lunch. But for now, I hope you're enjoying the video. So if you are actually enjoying the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you guys on my next meal. What's up guys? It's 4.30 right now. So my next uh, meal is 200ml of milk, one banana. And the macros are just right here. So basically I don't really eat that much um, after lunch because you know like my body still feeling very full from the lunch I had earlier but right now this banana and milk is kind of like my pre-workout meal so probably I'll work out after work which is like um, two hours from now so by then I will talk to you guys after work. Kyle working hard <laughs> My colleague busy doing his work while I'm eating banana here. just got back from the office and I'm currently now at my room. I'm just going to clean up some stuff around my room and then uh, I'll be heading out for a workout real soon. So catch you guys later with the training montage. I'm having like one scoop of this after my workout and I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna have like for my remaining calories which is like only a little left I decided this apple is going to conclude the entire macros for the day. Oh, there you have it. I have my protein shake and my apple. The dinner macros and calories will be right here. Oh. So I'm eating this apple, I'm just going to show you guys um, the entire um, calorie and macros that I've hit today. So they are right here. So while I'm eating this apple, I'm just going to read out to you um, whether or not I've hit my calories for the day. Total calorie is 2028. I had 158 grams of protein which is like over my, <laughs> over my protein goals for the, for the calories. And carbohydrates, 230 grams. For my fats, it's uh, 46 grams, so I would say that I have overeaten my protein too much, but it's fine, you know. Anyways, I need protein to grow, right? But yeah, sometimes on your daily cal calories and macros intake, 
you won't particularly hit your your macro so perfectly. Sometimes you overshoot it and sometimes you'll be behind it, but it doesn't matter. So what really matters is that your overall calories, right, and macros are making you um, either lose your weight or for you to bulk up. So just keep in mind that your weekly average is the one that you should take note of. Without further ado, uh, I just want to conclude the video. And I hope you guys did actually learn something. This video is actually recommended for beginners who are starting to lift. So their calorie intakes are like much lower. They can actually watch these videos, you know, like get an insight of how um, bulking from a very, very low calorie is like. And you get like a sort, a sense of idea how your food is like. So I highly recommend this video for beginner lifter. Maybe for intermediate lifter as well. So which is like in the early stage, which applies for me. For now, I will say that I'm going to conclude this video. I just want to say thank you guys for watching the video. So if you like the video, please thumbs up for the video. And... Subscribe to the channel. I upload weekly. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video because I'm gonna enjoy this apple and I'm gonna have a shower. So I'll talk to you guys real soon. And thanks for watching the video.